All right, everybody. So what we're going to dig into first is Chuck HQ. So how does Chuck HQ actually work? First of all, welcome to Strong Wire. If you're not familiar with this, this is a tech stream, a podcast. We're going to be talking about tech, how we do things here in All Rebels. That's just going to be what we do here. Strong Wire doing it up as always. Welcome to the best stream of your dang life. Let's hop into it. Let's go. So the way this works is... Um, so we're talking about Chuck HQ. So when I'm talking about Chuck HQ, normally it looks like this. I'm gonna play it for you here. Uh, let's see if I can play it for you here. Hold on, let me see. Uh, FX, can I trigger it here? Let me see, I don't know. All right, so this is what Chuck HQ looks like, right? And you're gonna see, so you see me right here, right? Now I'm in front. Right, I'm in front of the gate, now I'm behind the gate. Right, that's when we crawl underneath, run, right? And now we can just run like this, right? So we're running, 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 oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my explosion, boom! And then you hide. Come back up, you're like, ah! And then this is on top of me, right? This little. There's little buzz things on top of me, so is the kick. So some things are behind me, some things are in front of me. How do we put everything in between? And then we, oh my god! And then we fall down on the ground, okay? That's what the Chuck HQ normally has, right? That's what you used to see him. So, Chuck HQ, the way that this works is that here's OBS. Here's another instance of OBS. It kind of is kind of set up, it's not set up the same way, but it's not set up the same way, but this is what it kind of looks like. So, Final Destination, so, right? Fantasy Cheeser loves it. MLA, what up, baby? How you doing? Uh, so here's how this works, right? Here's the scene, right? Uh, and I'm just going to go. I'll show you this. So over here behind me is where this exists. This is what Chuck HQ. And all of a sudden, it's like, boom, Chuck HQ, right? The same thing happens. I'm not in the scene, though, right? I'm not in the scene. So what this is is right here. And I don't have it set up so I can zoom in, really. But I'll, I'll make it bigger for now. So this over here is the sources, right? So in OBS, OBS, you have you have your scenes and then you have your sources, right? Over here, you have your source. This is what we're seeing right here. Rashad, what up, baby? This is what well, this is what we're playing with, right? In OBS, there's two different videos. That's the main thing to keep in mind. There's two different videos. One is the foreground. How do I shut the magnifier off? Oh, crap. How do I? I don't know. So there's two separate videos. There's two separate videos here, right? One of them is called the foreground. One of them is called the background. And the way this works is that if you take a look at only the background, like I'm going to play this scene all over again while just playing the background, okay? I'm going to play the scene all over again while just playing the background. So it starts, right? I, I triggered it. You don't see anything for a while. You don't see anything for a while. And then you see this. And you're like, wait a minute. Truck HQ is not part of that, right? So how this... Uh, wait, hold on. Put this back over here. Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to click the foreground. Shout out the background. This is what the foreground looks like, right? It's like, oh, you're familiar with this part. Oh, all of a sudden... Bam, Chuck H. Shield, and it's cool. Then all of a sudden it goes dark. You're like, why did it go dark? But wait a minute. Then there's going to be a fence that pops up. Why is that the case? Because there's multiple layers in the video. And when you put them together, that's when you get the full thing. So if you put the foreground and the background together, that's when you get the full picture of everything. So after this, it might be a brief black moment. It might go black and then come right back. Okay, so there we go. There's the fence. And then all of a sudden, the fence never changes. It goes away. These, this, is, this is all done inside. Everybody, if you have any questions, feel free to put it in. Put them in chat. Feel free to put them in chat. Um, so there's two different... There's two, you got to do this in Premiere or whatever video editor that you have. And you got to use the alpha layer if you're actually doing some transparency stuff so the foreground has uh the alpha layer enabled so that there's a transparent layer so if you look 
there's that transparent layer exists right here, as you just saw Moose Lee come out like that. And this is just transparent so you can see the background. So all we do, if you take a look right here, the foreground, you gotta understand what scenes and sources are, but if, if I'm assuming you know what a scene is, if I go to sources, inside of this one scene called Truck HQ over here, I have a couple things. That foreground video that I talked about, I have this background video that I talked about, and I have this right here. Here's the, here's the cool part, all right? This right here is essentially my camera. Now, I don't have a setup for this particular computer, but this is where you put your camera. So guess what? This works from the top down. So you have your foreground, that's what you see first. Then you have the cameras, which is what you see me. Then you have the background, which is what's gonna be behind me. Now again, the foreground looks like this. So when I'm standing here, and you see that go up in front of me, like I do here, I'll, I'll show you. I'll do it here on this screen. On the main window, if I do it here, like in, in this, I guess it's kind of hard to, to understand what I'm saying. But if you go into Truck HQ, here on this screen, you're gonna see it fly up in front of me. Like, uh, let me move my camera over for a second, right? I'm gonna move my camera over here. And you're gonna see it come right in front of my face. Right? Right in front of my face. That's what you see happen. The reason why is because that's in the foreground. Right? That's in the foreground. So, going back over here, the foreground starts, I have my camera, then I have the background. So, again, foreground video, main, that's my camera, background. Now these two things exist because I like to put certain things in every single scene. I have a group for my audio, I have a group for my background. Those don't really matter. These are the three things that matter the most, what I have highlighted right there. Um, so again, foreground, simplified version of the same video, only the top layer with an alpha layer so that you can have some transparency, the camera for us, and then also the background where we stand in front of. I think that explains it. Anybody have any questions? Professionals, baby. Anybody have any questions for how Truck HQ works? That's how Truck HQ works. Oh, 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 oh